Hello, and welcome to YouTube video for this 2005 Discovery. That's a Fleetwood Discovery Model 39S. As you can see in this video, it's been body wrapped uh, for an insurance company. We got it, we're selling it. Uh, you could remove it, it's pretty simple. I'll show you, or uh, about a $1,500 is estimate what, what we have got to remove it completely and uh, detail it and buff the coach if any residue left. Or you could do it yourself. Uh, let's talk about this motorhome from front to the back to the side. It's been modified as in a moving office for insurance company. It's got a 7,500 watts generator, about 1,100 hours, or about 1,000 hours, 1,000 hours. Windshield seems to be free from any cracks or chips. Got Alco aluminum wheels. Tires are original, but they're not showing any dry rot or cracks. Um, they're 06 of 04. The original tires, Goodyear tires, not showing any dry rider crack. Sorry, we're just putting on internet. We've got a lot of motorhomes right now. We're just putting on internet as it is. Uh, as you can see, the we're taking off the vinyl just to show you it's how simple it is. Especially with the heat, it's a lot easier. Uh, well, even here, you can see it. It's not that bad. You could have it removed yourself or we can hire people for you to remove it completely. Uh, lots of underbelly storage. Here's an extension ladder. We'll probably use that to get up top to show you. It's got a front bra as well. That goes on the front of the motorhome where the generator is located at. So it's approximately 39 feet long. That's your wet, wet bay with the sewer connectors and the city water inlet and all that stuff is located in this compartment right here. Again, look at the tires. No dry rotted crack, but they are original tires with only 29,000 miles on the engine and tires. So not a lot of miles. I would call it a low miles. It does have inverter. 50 amp power cord to run both roof air conditioning. Four coach batteries. Let's open up the back compartment where the radiator is located. It's a southern coach. Take a look at it. No rust. It's got a, I would say, a 10,000 pound towing capacity Reese Type 3 hitch. So the hitch rating is 10,000 pounds. That's a good a good thing. Some of the diesel pusher had only 5,000, older one. But this one's got 10,000 with a seven pin connector back here. Let's go up top and look at the roof. It's got like a, a 25, 30,000 now with a, a satellite dish network or, or, or disc, some kind of uh, system that helps business out. Let's check it out and look at the roof condition. All right, we're on top of the roof here. This gizmo. They told me they spent almost $30,000. It looks that way. And it's got some uh, receivers down there. They're not low, your typical little receiver. I don't know, it may be talking to Saturn or, or Mars. I don't know, but this is a, one of those high dollar, it's called Venture Manufacturing Company. I'll have a plenty of pictures. You can do the research. You can get rid of it. We're gonna sell it like it is. Roof is in good shape, as you can see. No maintenance needed on the roof. All the caulkings are in good shape. It's got the track vision automatic dome dish. Also on top, got a floodlight, got a small solar panel. Both air conditions are running right now. We got generator running too. Uh, this finished our rooftop video. We'll continue down on the bottom. All righty. So we'll continue the video. Got 10 gallon hot water heater located right here. By the way, it's a 330 cat diesel, rides on an air ride, Freightliner custom chassis. 
Got a leveling jacks all the way around. They're down right now, and they're heavy duty leveling jacks. You could convert this back into the motorhome easily. That's where spare tire will go if you like to carry one. Most of the people, or most of the motorhome don't come with one. Furnace, electric awning, push button the awning works. All the slide out topper seems to be in good shape. Lots of underbelly storage and you would love this part that we're just coming up to now. It's got an outside entertainment. Check this out. It's got two latches if you open them up. Got an outside sink. It's got a grill that locks in here. And outside refrigerator, hey. How about some Coca-Cola here and here? Zero. And over here we have outside television. Just pop this thing out, it comes out and it tilts either way. You could get rid of that and put a nice TV in here. Uh, CD player, stereo, surround sound. So this is a nice, got outside tailgating package. So this is a, hey! Speaking of tailgating, this could be a great tailgating coach. If you don't want to convert it back into the coach, they'll still sleep four people in there. All right, speaking of inside, let's go inside. The electric patio awning work. This one, I have an RV tech can fix it or you need to service it. They get jammed, the entrance awning, but it's not working. You gonna sell it like it is? So, come on in, it does run good. We're gonna get on the highway too. Look at inside, it is Part motorhome, part tailgating machine, and a part office. Let's start the video in the front right here. We've got 26,000 miles. Sorry, we've been saying 29. 26,702 miles on it. All the visors are there. They work. Backup monitor. Generator, 1,005 hours now. The air condition could take a little Freon, we could take care of that. That's not a big deal. Usually that's a nine out of 10 times. That's what the thing is. Telescopic and tilt wheel. Uh, we got a uh, power mirrors, six speed Allison automatic transmission with the Jake brake or whatever you call it, a retarder or engine brakes. Got leveling jacks uh, located up here. This thing has a CD player, cassette player. Over here we have a surround sound, five disc changer. Uh, Fleetwood does a really good job on their surround sound. This is an older boob tube, non-digital, but you can still work with it, digital tuner, or you can change it out, put a nice 32 inch or 40 inch, whatever that fits in here. We've got a automatic leveling jacks, electronic management system. It tells you how many amps are being used where. Uh, Monitor panel shows you how much water, battery, inverter, all that is here. Slide out control, your RV comfort thermostat. We got this thing running, both air conditioners are running right now. Uh, by the way, driver's seat is power seat. No tears or any excessive wear. A power seat for passenger seat as well, along with, I think it does have a electric recliner for the for the co-pilot so you could sit and looking forward if you'd like to do this way that's a nice feature this sofa opens up in a bed jackknife by the way there's no pet odor or a smoking odor or any unwanted bad odor it's neutral odor this Sofa, however, would open up as a full king size, a queen size bed. Booth dining also folds down, so I guess you could sleep two here, maybe two there, and two here. You could probably sleep five, six adults in this and tailgate it still. Uh, 
They got some curtains here for office. So it was an insurance, a uh, health insurance business in here. So it got three little um, cubicles here, two over here, and I think three in the back. So uh, you could turn in office if you like to, or you could be a moving around dentist or moving around appraisal company or any kind of office you want to be on the road. So you could buy it like it is, or you could convert it back. This is where the kitchen went. You could put a kitchen back. There's a junkyard a big junkyard in Louisville, uh, in a Kentucky, London, Kentucky, or somewhere in that area called Vizon RV. You could find another discovery that had been racked or partially burned or whatever. You could put kitchen back here if you like to. Uh, over here, I think, I believe you had a refrigerator here and a shower. I could see the some of the sign right here. That's what enclosed shower was. Uh, toilet is still intact, so you can still use toilet and got a sink, Korean countertop sink. So that's still out fully operational with a fresh water tank. They're not being altered. Bedroom back here, you probably got to remove this and put a bed back on it. The platform for bed is still there. So if you wanted to put a bed back, you could do that. All the lights are still there. As you can see, that was a, that's a booth extension for booth dinette, so it's still here. You could easily remove this stuff. I mean, they're just flimsy uh, walls right here. Another one. Back here where they had a washer dryer, they have put refrigerator in here. So you do have refrigerator, so you could tailgate. You got one outside, one in here. So this is like it is, ready to go for tailgating. This is the gizmo we're talking about. It's got a huge satellite. AC power, manual motor, display control. I don't know, net gear. It's got a Wi-Fi in here. Uh, I'm sure... Uh, I don't know a lot about it, but we could do a little research, or you can do it. You could get rid of it, or you can have it. Be a big cereal bowl. Back here, that's a coat closet. I believe they removed the uh, sliding door. They altered some stuff. Radio is still back here. So they removed, like I said, all the lights work. The switch probably bad. There we go. So you could put a bedroom back like it was. We don't do it, but you could do it yourself. We're just way behind right now to mess with the motorhomes. They're altered like this. So use this as an office, tailgate machine, or whatever idea you have. Uh, give me a call. I prefer text communication. My number is 864-404-0054 for this 2005 Fleetwood Discovery Model 39. That's 39 S is in Sierra with a 26,000 miles, 1,000 hours on generator, road ready. Let's get on the road and show you how it drives. Uh, we're driving this motorhome in the city, easy to drive. Um, got a backup monitor so I can see. Got nice mirrors on the both side, easy to see if you are changing a uh, lane like I am about to do it. And uh, we're gonna get on the interstate it's about a five o'clock traffic here in Greenville, South Carolina, and the uh, brakes work great. Um, Dash AC is cool, not ice cold. Again, it may need just a little bit of a Freon. Uh, do have some slight fog in the window, and people ask me what that is. It's a double pan window. They're still kind of brakes or and the vacuum gets in or they, they have a certain type of gas inside and it leaks out so that's why it's got a little bit of a fog going on um, let's see we're getting on the road here we're about to enter highway we're going to check it at 65 70 miles an hour see how it handles drives good in the town at about 25 30 miles an hour doesn't pull right, right left just steer pretty straight um, Let's see, we have a power mirrors, and they work. Yes, they do. So top part of the both rear view mirrors, they are operated electrically, and you can remotely adjust them from here. The bottom mirrors, however, you got to do it manually. They just stay there. They're called blind spot. They're also heated. The mirrors are heated. I see a switch here. 
All right, here we go. We are taking interstate. By the way, air ride chassis, uh, it's a big plus from a gas motor home. If you ever had a gas motor home, 35, this 330 cat, that's a C7, 7.2 liter, um, 50, 55, and almost 60. It is 60 now. Runs really good. Look at it. It just steers straight as an arrow. Get it up to 65. We have a lot of construction here, so. Cruise has engaged at 65, about 62, something like that. Runs good. No complaints. No unwanted noise. No bouncing around on the highway. We're going to turn exhaust brakes on. And I'm going to take exit. This is just a short video. I know how they say the pictures are thousands of words. Well, including a video with the pictures, it becomes millions of words. But it will never substitute that you come down and touch it and feel it. But we're going to sell this motorhome like it is with the wraps around it. Or we can remove the wraps for you for $1,500. Um, please all look at all my pictures, watch this video, and uh, give me a call. My number is 864-404-0054. Or you could text me, which I prefer text communication, 864-404-0054. Thank you and have a great day.